Welcome back to downtown Phoenix. This is a live look inside Chase Field. And the gentleman center of your screen facing you is Adrian Johnson. He is the crew chief for the second base umpire. We have a swarm of bees that has uh, decided to stop on the uh, on the back uh, drop there, the back screen. So uh, we're in a bit of a yeah. a bit of a bee delay, maybe. Just don't hit any foul balls off the backstop. Don't want to irritate them in any way. We're too close to that bee nest right now. <laughs> What may be the solution? Now, see, you can't avoid the B word. No, not at all. Well, there's a, I, I think Tory's concern is the same as yours, Bob, about his starting pitcher who's all uh, gassed up and set yeah. to go here. It's 7.51 local time. This is it. The beekeeper made his way, a grand entrance onto the field here at Chase Field. He was greeted by a standing ovation by the fans here waiting to see if this game would ever get into the books. The marketing department at Blue Sky Pest Control, I think, is just called an emergency meeting because look what they have. You can hear the crowd roaring behind me right now. He made his way to the to the lift and he is now making his way down. This is one small step for man. We just removed the bees. Now the players are coming out to, to witness this, obviously. Here he is, folks. He is the man of the hour, the talk of Major League Baseball, Matt Hilton, 15-year veteran from Blue Sky Pest Control from Surprise. Let's just start with this. Where were you when you got the call here tonight from the Diamondbacks? So I was actually at my son's t-ball game. It was the last game of the season when I got the call to come out here. And what was it like when you rolled into the building and you got a standing ovation? I thought I was here to just take care of a bee problem. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, people were pretty hyped up. It's pretty cool. So the challenge was obviously to remove them so you could have this moment here. How about what the Diamondbacks did for you? A ceremonial first pitch before a Dodger Diamondbacks game. How's that feel? That was pretty cool. I can't say I've had that experience before and probably won't again, but it was pretty awesome. <laughs> and believe it or not, we are set for baseball here after what will be roughly an hour and 55 minute delay. Diamondbacks and Dodgers. And because Jordan Montgomery was set to throw first pitch moments before our B delay, he has had to be scratched from the start after a near two hour delay. So here, making his Diamondback debut directly after a near two hour B delay. Mookie Betts leads it off and he is leading the major leagues in well, you name it, batting yeah. average, runs, hits, and OPS, among other things. And we'll get news from Tor Lavello perhaps after Whoa. the game on who will start tomorrow. And how about that? Brandon Hughes comes on and strikes out Mookie Betts for the first time in nearly two weeks. Shohei Otani with one down, the base is empty. And Otani specks it in the ground towards the middle and through. Second time in as many games he's come up with the first Dodger hit. And as you can see, he's been hot either side, right or left. Brandon Hughes making a name for himself here. He has struck out Betts and Freeman. Two of the first three. The line to Marte. Brandon Hughes, job well done. We're just getting started here at Chase. Landon Mack, a couple starts in the big leagues, both of them against the Washington Nationals. And on Wednesday in D.C., got his first big league win. His one two pitch is rifled to right. Right at Tasker Hernandez for the first out. Roxon delivers to Lourdes Gurriel, sends a high fly ball to right center field, but no big deal for Tasker Hernandez. Two up and two down for now. Patel Marte continued his fantastic season with two hits yesterday, including the hardest hit ball of the day for Arizona. Smacks this one in the ground a second for Rojas, and on seven pitches, Neck has a one, two, three first. So Brandon Hughes, first career start, got the three outs. And here is Bryce Jarvis on to start the second. They'll be looking for some length for Bryce. 11 appearances this year. Swing and a miss. Bryce Jarvis goes to that cut fastball. That's been a game changer for Bryce. Nice job by Bryce coming in there getting the first two guys he faces. Right there at 97. Two strikeouts for Hughes. Two more for Jarvis. We go to the bottom of the second. No score as Christian Walker will lead it off. Christian dunks that into center. First hit for the Diamondbacks, a leadoff single in the second. Strikes out Peterson, who has been hard to strike out so far this season. And Eugenio Suarez, 229, couple of home runs. Fast ball up and in, got Gino on the elbow guard, it looked like. And he's going to need a moment to gather himself. Two on for the Diamondbacks, only one out. And here comes the pitch. There's a swing and a fly ball hit to center. It is playable for Pajes. And will make the catch, and both runners will return back to the bags. 
clips this one to center field. No big deal for Pajes. And Max able to pitch around the second inning traffic this time. And a couple of pretty harmless flyouts induced by Jarvis to start this third inning. Well, here's the Dodgers killer bee, Mookie Betts. Well, Mookie Betts, who had gone two weeks without striking out 57 plate appearances, has punched out twice, and we are still without a score. We'll see if Torrey takes the leash off Jake. Let's him get his running game going. McCarthy two for three in his stolen base attempts. McCarthy on the move. Will Smith the throw. It's a good one, but Jake is in there. Stolen base number three. Swatted to left field. Taylor on the move. Gets there and ends the inning. As Shohei Otani will lead off for Los Angeles against right-hander Bryce Jarvis. Kind of like that. And he's caught looking. Boy, Bryce Jarvis has got it dialed in tonight. That's his fourth strikeout. Jarvis, he has struck out four, and three of those have been called strike three. Fires the 1 1 pitch, and Freeman pokes it down the line. That's a fair ball. Into the corner. Freeman makes the turn and heads to second with a double. And his ninth double of the season, and the Dodgers with a runner in scoring position. No score. Dodgers trying to get something done with two outs. Kike Hernandez is 0 for 1 tonight. He fly to right in the second inning. The 0 2. Swing and a fly ball into shallow right field once again. McCarthy comes in. He calls off Marte, makes the catch, and that'll do it for the Dodgers. It's the bottom of the fourth inning, and Christian Walker will lead it off for the D-backs. 1-1, high drive left field. 1-0 Arizona. Give me the shooters. There they are. Now for the 21st time in 31 games, the Diamondbacks take of the first lead in the game on that solo home run by Christian Walker. And now the Dodgers have set up shop first and second nobody out. Where's up again gets it down Martinez goes to third. Got him. They cut down Muncy at third base. Andy Pajes is at third base. Miguel Rojas at second. Mookie Betts at first one out. That is the wild pitch and here comes the tying run. Andy Pajes in to score and without having to take the bat off his shoulder. Otani watches the game become tied. Second and third full count Shohei Otani up there. What do you have. Got him. That's what Joe Mantiply has. He's got the minerals. The one one. Swung on line towards center field and Carroll there to make the catch to retire the side in the top of the fifth. The top of the sixth inning, Will Smith to lead off. Will 0 for 2 tonight. Shot to right center field. Carroll on the run. He will not get there. Just out of his reach. Lead off double, Will Smith. Go ahead, run in scoring position just like that. DK Hernandez will try to get Will Smith around. Poked the right field base hit. Got there so quickly that Smith has no chance to even think about coming home. Dodgers have him cornered with one away. That is a balk, and they will. So the Dodgers tie the game on a wild pitch. They take the lead on a balk. Joe Manaply has gift wrapped a 2 1 lead to L.A. Marte into third. And Suarez at first. Diamondbacks have him on the corners with two down. Freeman behind Suarez. There goes Gino. Ball four. They're loaded for Corbin Carroll. And if there was a time to bust out of it, it's right now. Absolutely. Here it comes. Nope. Chopper to first. Carroll can fly. Freeman feeds Grove just in time. And the inning is over. Able to eke out of the bases loaded jam. And after six, Dodgers lead it two to one. And there are two gone for the Dodgers in the seventh. Otani tonight is one for three. Two two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And the inning is over. Thompson turns in a one, two, three, seven. Peterson moves to third on the play. Moreno had the chance to hit with a runner at third. That loaded the bases in the sixth inning. D backs didn't score. Gabby. Base hit. Gabby Lane is wide open. And we're tied at two. Well, Dodgers had their defense shifted in the right direction, but had nobody where this ball is hit. So now with two outs in the bottom of the eighth inning, here is Carroll. Swung on. That's belted towards the right field corner. That's a fair ball. Moreno rounding second. He's going to be held at third. Oh, with two outs, Moreno was looking over his shoulder to see what happened. And as a result, Diamondbacks have runners at second and third. Two outs in the eighth inning. Blaze Alexander out, and he swings. It's a ground ball to short. Mookie charges, one hands, throws to first in time, and he retires. 
Blaze Alexander. And now the Dodgers first and second. Nobody out. Shohei Otani. Here it comes. A chopper right side. Marte gets there. Goes to second for one. And the ball comes out on the transfer. Up to third goes Lux. Otani out in the fielder's choice. And the bases are full of Dodgers with one out. Spot here right now. Get a good pitch. Smith lifts it to left field. Guriel is back to make the catch. Here comes Lux. That'll get the job done. With two strikes, Will Smith able to put a ball in play and score the go ahead run. Christian's sixth of the year. He is two for four, a single and a homer. And he will lead off the bottom of the tenth with Cattell Marte down there at second as the time runs. He belts it deep left field. We're going home, folks. And we're going home winners. The first career walk off home run for Christian Walker, his first multi homer game this year. And the Diamondbacks walk off the Dodgers.